first going to make the marination with the mince. Now I'm using lamb mince meat. You could just use any. You could use chicken, pork, turkey, beef, absolutely anything. I've added one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste to this. Give it a nice mix. Add half a teaspoon full of red chili powder. Quarter teaspoon full of turmeric powder. Quarter teaspoon full of cumin powder. Half a teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon full of Shahi Garam Masala powder. Half a teaspoon full of red pepper powder. Now I'm going to sprinkle some coriander. Lovely. Add half an onion finely chopped. Now the onion gives the nice crunch to your uh, cutlets but in case you don't like them and you don't want them to come into your mouth it's your choice however these uh, cutlets are really made with the raw onion as well okay so mix everything real good the most important part of making this cutlet or tiki is the mixing you really have to mix it very well because all uh, the mints should taste the same so take good five to seven minutes to really go on mixing this so that you're very very sure uh, about this being mixed well So I had taken about half a kilo of uh, mincemeat. You could take less as well. Now this is going to help me make about 8 to 10 cutlets. To this I'm going to add one egg. Okay. Just mix this real good. Now as you see, I am not adding any other water or moisture to this uh, cutlet other than the egg because I don't, I want them to be able to uh, pat them and create them into a cutlet. At the same time, we add egg because we want them to be nice and moist from the inside. Okay, and uh, egg also helps cook them really quick. Lovely. So finally, this should be the color that you should arrive at necessarily. And uh, look, that's how they're mixed really well. All the spices are pure equally. There's no area which is raw or unmixed. Lovely. Now I'm just going to let this stay for a good five hours. And then I'm going to show you how we make the cutlets. has been marinating for about five hours now lovely now after about five hours if you see some amount of moisture in your dish then just add some bread crumbs and get rid of the moisture okay otherwise so I'm just gonna take some in my palm and uh, pat it around with some wheat flour okay so that is just take some wheat flour in your palm take a little of the marinade in your palm and uh, pat it on both sides, bring it back to the dish, pat it again with the wheat flour. Okay, here you go. So you have something like this. I'm just going to drop this into the oil. Lovely. Now you have to be really careful in binding these together because we're not adding any other bind because I, I don't want them to have a very thick 
cover uh, outside. So I'm just gonna wrap them a little with nice wheat flour, which kind of gets fried easily too. Okay, so once again, I'm just gonna take some flour in my hand like this. I'm gonna take a little of the marinade in my hand like this, take some flour on top again, pat it on both sides with the flour so that it can, it becomes nice and dry. Roughly, there goes my second, which I'm gonna drop into the oil. And that's it. This is simple, isn't it? It creates a nice light cutlet, so you don't taste a lot of the outside as well. And uh, it's delicious, trust me. Because you've added your egg, you've added your mince, you've added all the spices. And uh, you're, you're just frying them as they are, not really creating another coating. So these cutlets become lovely. So when you have uh, the wheat flour patted on both sides, uh, you could just kind of pat this like this. So that you can uh, kind of spread across and make it nice and thin. Okay. Just gonna show you one more, okay? So I've taken some wheat flour in my palm. I'm just gonna take some marinade like this. Lovely, I'm gonna pat it with some wheat flour on top, on the sides. Okay, once I've done that, just in my palms, I'm just gonna go turning it so that I can create a nice circle. You can make four, four at a time. So in two preps, you'll have your eight cutlets ready, which are nice and wholesome. So I'm just gonna kind of toss this over. Lovely, look at the lovely golden brown color. That's the way it should be. Okay. So this forms a nice light coating as well so your your cutlet doesn't break easily at the same time it's not very hard while you're eating it so i'm just going to toss my pork cutlet that is nice and ready in my flour Lovely, toss it over. So that's the way I'm just going to finish the rest. But guys, you have to make this to try this out. The nice onion inside will act as a nice crunch. At the same time, the thin coating outside lets you reach your mincemeat really fast. It's tasty, it's yummy and it kind of goes with everything. You could just put it into two buns and make a nice burger out of it with a slice of cheese and some lettuce. Or uh, you could serve this as an appetizer. Or you could just, just probably chop this into smaller pieces and put it into a nice panini wrap. Lovely. So there you go. Here are your delicious golden brown chicken cutlets. Wow, they look amazing, isn't it? So you can just toss it with a cheese of slice and lettuce into a burger bun 
and make it a nice packed lunch for uh, your kids, for yourself. Or you could just place this on the dinner table with some ketchup and boo, they will be gone. Enjoy! So thank you very much and uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and you guys will try it out in your homes. And do write to me if in case you want me to really teach you or to cook with you a recipe of your choice. I'll be more than happy because um, I believe in inspiring a lot of people to cook. And now that I have that kind of expertise, I want to pass it on to everyone. So thank you and uh, see you again in my next video. Bye-bye.